let's talk about phalloplasty. If you're out there and you're an adult and you're thinking about phalloplasty surgery, I just want you to keep in mind and to consider this as well. Because a lot of times when people think about phalloplasty, they get very lost in thinking about functionality and we get very lost in thinking about aesthetic. And sometimes they forget to ask themselves about their own sexuality. And a lot of times therapists are also not going to bring up sexuality. Um, medical providers may not bring up sexuality. You may forget your own sexuality. So I want you to think about your own sexuality when considering phalloplasty. And what you need to consider about your sexuality is what are you, who are you attracted to? Uh, what kind of sexuality over the course of your life have you been really enjoying? Are you somebody who tends to be on receiving end? Are you somebody who tends to be on a penetrative end? How much of being a penetrative individual is sexually active is important to you? That's going to make or break decision when you're going to be deciding on what type of penile implant, for example, to go with your phalloplasty. If you want to get a rod, for example, versus inflammable uh, penile implant, all of those are going to affect your sexuality in a sense of how things are going to feel um, and what's going to be important to you. So don't forget to think about your sexuality, what that means to you. And also don't forget that your sexuality may absolutely change over the course of your lifetime. So just keep all of those things um, in focus when you think about phalloplasty.